Now, Pastor, do you mind saying a prayer? Yes, sir. A deliverance prayer. Yes, sir. For those viewers that are dealing with the spirit of suicide. Absolutely. Or have family members yeah. that are dealing with the spirit of suicide. Wow. Well, if you can close your eyes, one thing I do want you to know, even before we pray, is that you can be free. The biggest hindrance in our life many times is feeling that we cannot be free. But you can. Jesus Christ died so you can be free. My question to you is, do you want to be free? Do you want to be free? If you want to be free, type in I do in the comments, wherever comment section in there, type that in the comment right now. I want to be free. I want, I'll wait for you. I want to be free. I want to be free. I want to be free. I'm getting ready to pray for you, but I want to see that you want it. When the moment you want it, Zacchaeus cried out, Jesus have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped in his tracks to meet a man who wanted to be free. There was a man, there's a woman out there that wants to be free. And I want to pray for you, for you to be able to receive your freedom. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for this brother, for this sister that's listening, for the father, for the mother that's listening, for the child, for the uncle, for the auntie that's listening. I thank you because you died so we can have freedom. I thank you that you died so they can have life and have it more abundantly. So now, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray every spirit at work, every spirit of suicide, every spirit of depression, wherever you may be hiding in this body. Now, in the name of Jesus, I command you come out in Jesus name with the clear now that you are free from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet wherever you may be hiding the bible says that demons tremble at the name of jesus at the name of jesus every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that jesus is lord so now in the name of jesus every spirit of suicide at work in your home at work in your mind at work in your family in the name of jesus come out come out Come out from them. Loose your hold from them. Loose your hold from them. Loose your hold now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, fill them with your spirit. Fill them with your spirit. From the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Father, your word says when a demon leaves, that place is empty. But that place needs to be filled or the demon would come back sevenfold with seven more people. Lord, we're praying now that you will fill them. Let every area be made straight. Every crooked area let it be made straight. Lord, let you heal. Heal their minds, heal their body, heal their thoughts, and renew the right spirit within them. I thank you, Father, for what you have done. I thank you for what you are doing. I thank you for the person that's been healed right now. I thank you for the person that's been delivered right now. I thank you that you have set them free, and we give you all the glory for from you, to you, and through you are all things. You deserve the glory. In Jesus' name. We pray. Amen. Are you experiencing voices in your head? Sleep paralysis? Fits of uncontrollable anger? Constant nightmares? Overwhelming fear? Anxiety and panic attacks? If so, good news. You're in the right place. God wants you and your family free. Look, demons are real. They're on assignment to cause sicknesses, violence, crime, tragedies, mental illnesses, and even premature death. This book, Demon Mentality Exposed will give you a deep understanding of the diabolical mentality of demons through the narrative of an experienced demon deliverance minister. Evangelist Rayford Johnson is a retired correctional counselor and author who counsels and ministers healing and demon deliverance at correctional facilities, the streets, online, YouTube, phone prayer line, conferences, and residential settings. Learn how to safeguard yourself and your loved ones from demonic oppression, possession, and curses through the power contained in God's Word, the Holy Bible.